Hi kids, it's Miss Penizzato, your fit teacher, and I am back again to help explain another problem in your workbook. Today we're gonna be working on page 726, set C, number two. So I'll give you a chance to open up your books and take a look at the question. Okay, I have the plot diagram made up here already. Notice just as a little refresher from the other day, plot diagram has a couple of things. Okay, it has a title. In this case, it's the amount of flour. Uh, it also has what's being measured. In this case, we're looking at cups today, okay? I also want to address some of the questions that you had about missing numbers on a number line because fractions can be pretty tricky. So I just want to address that really quickly. So notice this number line is set up into eighths or divided into eighths. So my first point is going to be one eighth, okay? If this number had been missing, Okay, the next point would be two eighths, okay? But we know that two eighths can be reduced to one fourth, okay? So on, three eighths. The next little spot would be four eighths. We know four eighths is equal to a half, and so on. So if you ever get stuck on questions like that, that's kind of a good strategy to use. Just think of it as eighths. Or if it was presented to you in sixteenths, take it as sixteenths. One sixteenth, two sixteenths reduce if necessary, okay? So I hope that helps clarify some questions that you had yesterday with missing um, fractions on a number line. So let's get started. This question asks us to find the amount of cups that this person needs, okay? So what I did was I went ahead and I made my equation. Remember an equation is, well, has a couple of things. A variable, numbers, okay, and operations. So I went ahead and took my variable F to stand for flour. Okay, and then I went ahead and started putting in my information. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five dots at one fourth, so five times a quarter. Okay, I went ahead and multiplied. We did this the other day, so hopefully this is just a little bit of a refresher. Five fourths, okay. My next point was four times three eighths, one, two, three, four. 4 times 3 eighths. When I multiplied straight across, I got 3 over 2. Next, I had 7 dots at a half, so 7 times 1 half, and that equals 7 over 2. Next is 3 times 3 quarters, okay, and that gives me 9 over 4. And lastly, I have 2 dots all the way over here at 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. When I did that, okay, I kind of combine like terms again. We talked about that the other day. Okay, I have two fractions here that have the denominator of four. So all I have to do is add the numerators together. So five fourths plus nine fourths is 14 fourths. And luckily I also have two other fractions that have the same denominator. Three halves plus seven halves is 10 halves. Okay, and then I just gotta tack on my whole number two. Okay, so when I do more simplifying, okay, I get 14 divided by four, well that's three and a half, plus 10 over two, I really know that means 10 divided by two is five, okay? So I add five plus two is seven. So I take my three and a half plus my five plus two is seven, and the answer that I arrive at for this question is 10 and a half cups. Again, always remember to label, it's very important, okay? So just as a reminder, you can always stop this video. You can rewind if something didn't make sense to you and you need to hear it again. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Hopefully you understand, okay? I will be posting more videos, so I just wanna thank you again for watching Ms. Pinizzato, your fit teacher.